Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, <laughs> and you know what that means. It's story time. Now I realize some of you probably won't see this on Tuesday, but that's when it's recorded, and so uh, I'm glad that you join us whenever you do, and hope that you will like us, and that you will share us, and uh, that helps us out here at the port with the content that we're putting online. Uh, so for all you young at Harders from Westport Christian Church. Uh, I hope you're keeping up on the announcements because we got a lot of neat things that are going to be happening this summer. And uh, so please pay attention to your announcements and things that we put, it, put there for you to know what's going on. All right. My first story time is about perspective. Perspective. One day, a father of a very wealthy family took his son on a trip to the country with the firm purpose of showing his son how poor people lived. They spent a couple of days and nights on the farm of what would be considered a very poor family. On their return from their trip, the father asked his son, How was the trip? It was great, Dad. Did you see how poor people can be? The father asked. Oh, yes, said the son. So what did you learn from this trip? Asked the father. The son answered, I saw that we have one dog and they have four dogs. We have a pool that reaches to the middle of our garden, and they have a whole creek that runs from one end of their property to the other. We have imported lanterns in our garden, and they have the stars at night. Our patio reaches to the front yard, and they have the whole horizon. We have a small place, a uh, small piece of land to live on, and they have fields that go on and on and on. We have servants who serve us, but they serve one another and others. We buy our food, but they grow theirs. We have walls around our property protecting us, but they have their friends to protect them. With this, the boy's father was speechless. Then his son added, Thanks, Dad, for showing me how poor we really are. Too many times we forget what we have and concentrate on what we don't have. What is one person's worthless object is another's prize possession. It is all based on one's perspective. Makes you wonder what would happen if we all gave thanks to God for all the blessings that we have been given. I'd like to finish up by reading Coloss or, uh, Ephesians 3, uh, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with many spiritual blessings in, this heavenly in the heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him in love. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I hope you all have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you here at the port. Take care, everybody.